All right, so this is actually like an ideal start. Not for the build that I'm going for long term, but like this combo is great. Big fan of that will be the crisp lawnmowers because I'm too lazy to think of something else. Uh, what, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Who plays two code snails on turn one? What sort of team is that? I don't understand. I'm not buying these. I could buy the magpie and then the groundhog or something and then just play, but I don't care. I'd rather find a combo. Just look a little bit and we instantly find one. Excellent. Uh, so I'm going to leave it like this, I think. I could maybe try and like, space out the cone snails, but then we're kind of wasting a silk moth and... I don't know. I, I feel like the silk moth hitting both this and this probably is the better play for us. So I'll just leave everything how it was. And that's pretty unfortunate. Like, <laughs> like buffing up their thing if we can buff up our own. Yeah, ouch. Although, no, we're gonna lose. Ah! I recognize the name though. I've seen Bernie a few times in the test server. Alright, gazelles. We don't have any money. And I'm also not going for a money build, but there are two of them. What money things could I take? Is there any magpie at this stage? I'm not, I'm not taking magpie. I'm just not doing that. I'm not taking the Surgeon Fish either. I've, I've tried it. I don't like it. Let's find Doorhead Ants. Maybe a Stilt, because that is pretty good. And I love Penguins. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll take a Penguin. I'm going to combine those first, just because I'd rather hit one of those two. <laughs> hit that anyway. Uh, hmm. I'm going to buy this. I'll still go for combinations. Alright, so this isn't too bad. Getting that leveled up would be huge, because it makes this thing have like an extra plus 2-2. Two, two. Which obviously isn't actually insane, because <laughs> you can just get, like, better fish and stuff, and that's, like, a plus 3-3 three, three without, like, you know, terrible stats on the thing itself. But, yeah, for a tier 1, maybe it's worth it, especially with a combo chance. Anyway, I'm going to combine here first, then I'm buying the other one of these. I'm going to play this at the back. Love that hit, I think. Maybe I don't love that hit. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> oh no. That's not good. I hate it. Alright. Ah, I mean, we did manage to get to the end. Like, we didn't win, but we didn't lose as much HP as we maybe could have. Alright. Well, two combinations. Don't mind it. What do you have for me? Cuttlefish. Before faint, give the closest enemy ink. I could definitely try that. I see no reason not to. Let's take one of those. I'll buy this. Hopefully it hits this. It hit the Bulldog, which is actually really bad, because extra attack on the Bulldog is is very temporary. Like, HP scales into its attack, but its attack is, like, replaced by its HP, so it's kind of, yeah, kind of pointless there. Uh, three fans faint, give it plus four, four. I don't think I'm going to bother with that. I'm also not bothering with Lettuce. We don't have any more threes anyway. Uh, let's just roll. Like, if we can find any more of, well, these two and Penguins, then I think I'd take those. No, that's, that's the one I don't care about. I'm going to leave that. Stop. Stop. Give me something else. And I'm not going for the for the Poison Dark Frog build this time. We don't have a good setup for it, and we might be able to do something else. I don't know what the something else might be, but maybe we can do it. <laughs> this is kind of nice, though. Like, I do like this. Mm. Yes. All right. I'm just going to buy it. Put this... Stop, that's the worst one. That's what I want to get rid of. Oh, no. Stop. Oh, my God. All right, we just roll. Okay, you know what? I'm freezing all of this. Those are good. We can get a level up. Great. I want to do a cuttlefish build, but, like, the stats we're buying aren't hitting useful things. But who knows? If we have a level 3 penguin, maybe we just go for, like, a catfish build. I haven't done it on a non-custom pack so far, I think. Or I haven't had a good one, anyway. As long as I can save some HP, because we have lost some. Oh, we have lost two so far. That's not too bad. I'm just going to buy these straight. Like, I'll buy these first, see what my tier 5 is. Uh, no, Shark, no. Definitely do not care. Alright, just set it again. Alright, but we do have the level 3 penguin now. So if we do find a catfish, we're going to be gaining, like, plus 6, plus 3 every turn. Which is pretty good scaling. And if I can maybe, like, swap in... I don't know. Blue ring Doctopus or something at some point, then we'd get even better scaling. Or maybe I go for both and have like double catfish on my team. <laughs> there are options. Now, the question is whether I do this now. 
again, if we're going for a buy, like a buy synergy build, then finding a blue ring octopus is okay. But it doesn't like build us up very much. I'd much rather find this. So I'm actually just gonna keep hold of that. Maybe we can like find some food worth buying. Like getting some monkeys on the things wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, let's roll with it. All right. Uh, salad that only buffs the cuttlefish, so I do not care. Uh, blueberry chocolate cake, still no. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna do this. Oh, this maybe. I don't think we're gonna go against many snipes. Like if we do, it's the dart frog, which could be bad, but blocking like one four to eight damage shot probably isn't insane. But uh, if I roll, there really isn't anything I'm looking for at this tier because I already have my two level ups. So yeah, we're just going to take one of those. I'm going to throw it there because I really can't afford for this to take extra damage when it's not like trading with things. Hey, that actually made it. No, it didn't. <laughs> I was going to say that made a difference, but apparently not. All right. Dude, this is actually working. And I, I keep going against people that have like test in their name. Everyone who made an account on the test server named their <laughs> account like test server blank. All right. I don't care about these. Obviously, Grizzly Bear is just insane. Warthog is fun with the Egyptian Vulture, though I haven't actually tried it. But, yeah, we're going to roll. Like, I need to find Blue Ring Octopus. I need to find chocolate, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. There are things, but <laughs> not things yet. Uh, yeah, we don't care about any of this. Could maybe buy an eggplant, but I do think we just go for... Oh, dude, it's here. It's here. Hold on. I'm going to sell that to buy this. Just keep that frozen. Dude! Oh, okay. Dude! <laughs> I need to start freezing uh, waffles when I find them, because it's going to be worth just, like, waffling a level 2 this. I don't love the other stuff on my team, but... Yeah. Honestly, a crane is a pretty good substitute for stuff here, but... If we can find, like, double catfish... If we can get that going, then I'm going to love this team. The problem is, I am going to be wasting a lot of stats, because I'm going to be using the blue ring octopus right now to buff things that I'm trying to swap out. Oh, we're gonna lose quite a bit of HP here, huh? No, we only lost one, okay. I thought it was gonna be two, but we actually did trade with the last thing there. Alright, so I'm gonna buy both of these, because again, earlier we find a catfish, the better. Instant catfish! Hold on. So, this is at most 6 HP, but it's not guaranteed, plus it happens after it takes damage, so the scaling isn't as good. This one is only 4 HP, but it happens right at the start, and it's guaranteed. So I think I probably sell the Silk Moth to buy this. And I'm immediately putting it on the Blue Ring Dogs, but that's 2-2 two, two on everything. That is 4-4. Four, four. This is, you know, pretty good as well, and I'd probably go for another Catfish, but... Yeah. <laughs> and I'm buying this, like... I don't care. We got two things worth buffing. It may be hard to get rid of the Bulldog as well, so... Yeah, gonna leave it like that. That is definitely the thing behind it yeah so that will be triggered on the blue ring octopus we can't die yet and i'm hoping i won't lose three hp i've seen worse teams <laughs> it's, it is a level two poison dart frog though and obviously with onion uh, nah, we're gonna take a lot of damage huh yeah oh, one damage one damage never mind not a lot <laughs> we can tank that Dude, we can just, like, level this up right now. Like, it may be worth leveling the catfish first, but... Like, it's better to spread it out, because then you're more likely to find one or the other that you can actually use. If I, like, go all out on the ring octopus now, then we don't actually get insane value. But if I find any waffles going forward, then I can just do that, so... Sure, I will use a chocolate on this. Alright. Uh, yeah, no, we roll. <laughs> we need catfish levels, uh... Waffles... I can't. I don't need more blue ring octopus. Uh, yeah, put red presses on it either. So send it again. This guy is getting very big. I should definitely be giving him pit bread. I think. Also, yeah, everyone's like running weird. Actually, this isn't even much of a snipe team. What is this? Like he has a sniper, but he didn't even like, position summon stuff in front of us. Whatever. I appreciate it. He didn't kill my build. Okay, catfish. I I want to greed. I want to get rid of Cone Snail and play a catfish in front of the <laughs> penguin. <laughs> I don't think I do though. I think I just go hard on leveling this catfish and hope to get that to work for us. Oh, like, 
Tomato's fine, but... Waffle, yes. Buying it. We're keeping this team. Like, there's... There is no other way. I really wish you'd get the catfish leveled up, though, because that would be like a waffle every turn. Uh, yeah, we'll send it, though. Next turn, if we're not if we're not about to die, I'd probably buy... Oh, this may hurt. I'd probably buy Pith Red for this. But I think we hard roll to try and level up the catfish, because, yeah, the earlier we do that, the better, and we're only going to have, like, two more turns after this, so... If I can get it, I think it's still worth it. After next turn, I don't think it's worth it anymore. Uh, this is... Pain, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, we're still not even on lethal, like, we're four hearts. Still somewhat safe. And look, the scaling. Uh... But we lost. I have so many rolls to try and level the catfish. We're going for it. I need to level the catfish. Like, it's, it's like, necessary. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now we can buy the other thing, but... Yeah. Oh. Do we greed? Do I try and go for level 3 boat? Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, let's go for it. Why not? It's not really worth it, by the way. I, I want to make that clear. Like, we're, we're so late in the game that we're either going to die or we're going to, um... You know, barely get any triggers out of the level 3 catfish. Look, look at this. <laughs> nice try, dude. We're scaling too fast. Yeah, for the... For the idea, let's get this leveled up. Again, try to. Uh, yeah, no chocolate cake, thank you. Pretzel is pretty bad, because we have some tier 1s on the team. I see Waffle, and I see <laughs> Blurring Doctopus. Uh... So again, buying the waffle is a trigger. That is like 12-12 on these things. But the catfish. We have to we have to have the catfish dream. And we didn't get it. Alright, but we do have this, which is very big. So I will do that. Uh, leave everything else where it is. It's kind of sad that my blue ring doctor isn't scaling at all. Like I know I know why it, why it's not, because it's the thing generating the scaling, but. <laughs> Alright, I think we're big enough to tank this. Yeah, they're not even getting any more um, trumpets, so I think we're fine. Yeah, alright. Come on, though. Catfish. I know it won't even trigger anymore, because this is probably the last turn, but let me get the level up. <laughs> I need- yes! And we have about another waffle as well! Alright, I almost want to lose slash draw, just so I can get to see this again, even though we're probably going to, like, cap out. This isn't even that smart. Like, the stats are decent. Again, this thing is, like, practically capped out, but... Rolling three times and getting, like, a tomato or a bit of bread is, like, so much better, but for the sake of the build, we buy this. And then I'll roll. Yeah, we don't need more chocolates. Uh, I should probably put the cone snail somewhere else as well, huh? Alright, so you can be my frontliner. You can buff this up a bit. And I don't care about the rest of this. Alright, more pita breads and another waffle. Hold on, so this is giving 9-9 nine, nine to all of these. We're done. Like, the scaling is done. If this isn't the final turn, then everything is almost capped out. It's just going to be this that isn't. And then, again, this thing is, like, tiny, but who cares? So, yeah. Send it again. We're actually going to get a, a good build with the <laughs> Bulldog. I haven't really tried it yet. And then we go against Insane Scum. Hopefully we have enough stats to tank this, but it's, like, a level 3 Dart Frog, a level 2 Dart Frog, two slugs with monkeys, and level 2 bear. Uh, I actually don't know. It may be close. No, we get a win. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright, good. I'll take it. But hey, look at that. We got a catfish. Come on, there's got to be other things. Catfish, penguin. Have I done it with an octopus before? I definitely haven't done a bald bulldog. So yeah, there's three. Got the bulldog as well. Anything else? Also, I guess I have done one with the, the octopus. Still, <laughs> excellent game. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Do I get to unlock something? I do! I had enough money. And it's a Viking helmet. Not bad. <laughs> Bye again.